Okay, what are we doing? Or what'd we do? We cut off the trunk deck. I think it's close to uh, close to where this will marry in there like it should. You know, we had, there's a piece of wood there, I think. Gotta get some boogers out of there. Oh, we cut through the wood that we used yeah. as a spacer in there. Yeah, we used it as a spacer to hold that up so we didn't yeah, cut, we clean cut through the this. bottom. Clean off the panel bond that is from the factory. Yep. Where's your piece at? Um, the where's the uh, piece that goes on there? Here it is. Here's what we're looking for. And I will try to marry this up. See how that looks? Yeah, that looks a lot That's better. We need to trim. Well, it's, uh, maybe not. Yeah, it's all getting right. fibered across right. here. So I say yeah. fiber uh, the line, and then how much is okay? It's hanging over plenty. That if we have to trim some yeah. of this back, and I get although it doesn't give us much to panel bond. Yeah, this back side Just here. this lip. Yeah, probably. I mean, you might I, be able to I get a little bit right on the edge. Graft in a piece of metal that comes out. Just weld in across a bead. Work on my TIG welding skills. Cause yeah, it's well, it's it's touching. Yeah, it, it touch. is a little bit too. I mean, yeah, I'd say we panel Let me look that. and see. Right here at the edge, it's not. At this corner, it's not. Oh, is that corner cut back a little too far? Yeah, you get a little indent right there. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll fill it. I with think it'll glass. fit right but, there. But we can take this and put a big bead across here of panel bond right and put that on there it will even squish out yeah and it may it may grip enough up here to, yeah, to it grip should. it well and you've got this piece you've got this to panel bond yes all the way across yeah so do a bead across here yeah, it won't and go here anywhere. and once we get it set and then clamp it all down it'll be fine yeah that looks much better than because we might even wrap top. this with some fiber, with a fiberglass. Yeah. To tie, to, to get Just all that cloth. Yeah. yeah, what about this edge? Yeah, we need Does to that, cut, that, cut that out too. Yeah, so that lays inside that lip. Yeah, we don't need to take this edge well, off. Draw a line, let's get it centered exactly where that needs to be. And then let's scrap a line there. I'm looking. And cut that edge of the trunk off. I got a pin. Yeah, that looks Every good how that marries. So take that edge of the trunk deck off yeah. this thick, beefy yeah, section this piece. For just there. So that'll nestle down in there yeah. even a little further. Yeah, because you can see that the old trunk went in, that wrapped around and crimped. Right. I can probably cut a line across there. I'm not going to go deep. Let me right. do it with the air, and then you can detail after. Oh, that does well, a real air, nice job. The air might... Well, I just want it. you to use through. I've got a thousand of the others, but I don't have very many of those little guys.
Yeah, we'll, we'll clean all that up, grind it off. We'll see uh, how that fits now. This, oh, yeah, that fits down in there. Yeah, nice. yeah, it fits better. Okay. That one too? Yep. Right on that line? I'll see you. Kind of bend and flicked off. Yeah. The Get a, get a flyers. And yep. Here. Let's try those. You want a new plate on here now so the next time you use it, it's ready? No. Okay. There may be something we need that tiny wheel to get into. Okay, so all of this and more is what you should have left over when you do the drum box. Oh, yeah, more because you've cut back. Yeah, I've cut several, a bunch of it off already. So. Several times. So there's how your trunk deck should basically look. Um, of course, we'll, we'll grind, clean all this up real nice to bare metal. And then this should fit really nice now. Oh, yeah, that fits down in there. Does that fit there better? That's going to be the same This doesn't go height. down as deep here as the original. Yeah, it doesn't. Well, we'll have to. That'll just get sculpted with, yeah. with Duraglass and make all right. that as strong and rigid as we can. How's that side look? Same? Oh yeah, this yeah. Nice. got a deep divot. It's got the deep divot. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. But that's where you can see the outline. That's where the old bolt, a bolt here and a bolt here to hold the trunk yeah. uh, arm. But that's all gone, of course. So yeah, that's gonna be nice. Clean all that up. Get all this old That'll fit down in there better with this stuff out of there too. Yeah, true. It's because it's it's hit. This is this is flaking off. It's it's yeah. old as the hills. Well, it's 50 years old. And I think what I'll do too is I'll get that tube that sprays out the. I think, oh, I got some rails and stick it up in here. That's what I do with my trunk. And spray all up in it so my trunk we'll never is have rust in completely it. rust coated in the inside. Yes. Just because remember we noticed that it was. Uh, like from the humidity rusting, like leaking yeah. out of the corners yeah. after it was blasted. Oh, I got two blasts. These must be yours. I don't know. Okay. Well, we got to do all the grinding on it. All right. Clean up. Clean up. No. That's the next. No, clerk. And then we'll do the next when we are ready to put that all together. I'll probably do all the welding of this hole that was. They busted well, out. I'm going to take the tanks tomorrow and get more okay. argon, and then I think I need to start doing TIG welding and maybe practice on uh, what you call it the Daytona hinges for okay. some people. I've got a couple orders now. Well, if you want to, we need an assembly line to make those things. Yeah, everybody's making a Daytona, everybody's doing this, aren't they? I thought everybody has a Daytona in their garage. All right, bye bye.
tough panel bond on there is tough. Yep. Dead. Here. Oh. Get some more batteries. Yeah, I just look at all that rust right there. Sand now. Yep. But that, yep. Pretty much. much. Got that spot there. Somebody oh, has busted off. that out. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Is I'm gonna take the tanks, fill the argon, and fill the CO2 mixture. Well, that's just a little off. What's that? Everything's back on here. Okay. All right. Yeah, that fits nice. Fits down like it should. And that's gonna blend good enough. It's gonna blend real nice. Yep. Still a lot to work to do to make it a finished trunk, but we're getting there. That's a pretty good line all the way across there. You did good. It there. is. You did good, Pop. Try the line that on the back nice. side, if you flip it over to see how that matches, it's not as good. No. You're not filming yet. Oh, sorry, there we go. I'm, I was looking at I know you look and then you film the wrong thing. But you know this you can I think that's perfect because that's about what the overhang was uh, when I had it on the car. So this is the edge of the body line. Yes. So we need to we need to fill that's that. where I think I need to TIG an extension. You cut off too much. Yeah, but trying to fit it on this there and cut it off. Trimmed. Oh, yeah, it, it, it may be trimmed some. Yes. Okay. So all right, cool. Well, one way or another, we'll either pull the metal out, TIG a little metal yeah. onto the end. And, and we might do that. Shape all that. I don't know. We could take and lay a piece on here and bring it out, you know, a quarter, a half inch. We're not laying. That's the old way of welding. Well, you if you're going to try. And TIG. If you and can do it. And then it's a solid piece if of metal. If you can do it. I know. I okay. can. Okay. I'm going to. Well, then we'll do that. That'll be your first TIGging. No more Frankenstein and metal together. Yeah. Those days are done. This isn't the 70s anymore. Okay, we'll do the, uh, we'll put the piece of metal on there, bring it out to the edge of this, because we can still grind this and the metal off to yeah, make you, it fit. Yeah, you can't, you can't have a piece of metal Frankenstein in here, then it raises this up. It needs to be the piece of metal True. is the piece of metal. All right, well, then we'll, we'll take it, we'll butt weld it, as they call it. Button it. Button right. it up. Right. Okay. Are we done? Done. All right. Bye bye. Okay. What we're doing is we have a tool. Oops. My, look at my handle. I just. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tool That's laying right here. Film, yeah. That will. It's a dent repair stud welder. You stick this stud up in there, pull the trigger, and it welds. A rod, and then you use the hammer, the slide hammer. I think that's up. To pull, see it welds. And then you pull it up, and you can pull in dents, which oh, that was all enough. dented. Yeah, maybe one more one right more there. Right there. <clears throat> you got radio going too. Yeah, I know. I was trying to turn the volume down. Oh, that one just came off. Just, yeah. I will use that one. Okay. Be that way after I got you another one. Pulls the trigger okay. and it like, gets red hot. Ooh, that one actually melted burnt, through. Burnt. Yeah, you're going to pull yeah, it. I held, I held that <laughs> too long. This is only out. like the second time I've used this though. I know, it still looks brand new. It ripped. 
Yeah, you're, you're up. You're oh, you're ripping it. You're yeah, ripping it. Good. Twist it. It'll come off. All right, we got a little filling to do in those. Yeah. Yep. But they were way caved down in. Yeah, it was caved. So that'd be good. And we took the uh, cutters and cut this out square. This was all real jagged. Now we can get in here from behind, cut a square piece, weld it, and we can grind that. This, I didn't want to try to fill it. I wanted to try to pull it up. So we ground it all off. And those work pretty well. That's just going to make a hole. Probably grind it. Okay. Well, that's another repair that uh, this trunk deck needed. All right. Update. Trunk deck shortening and what the extension uh, yeah that's not really an extension more like a molded piece going on so pops has the panel bond he put it all in the space it was going to live yeah it's all underneath squishing out put it on the bottom side of this and then we squished it so i just wanted to update how she looks how we clamped it every which way from sunday yeah and there is a it's little not even sunday a little not gap yet. well you showed me a picture of true daytonas this was metal yeah stacked on top of this and, and then and stitch welded, welded yeah in places and we decided that this piece because I don't, I don't think you had that picture when we decided to make it flush no. and fill in this with with uh glass and tape and all that good stuff but i think it's gonna turn out nicer with the way that we've decided to do it well what do you think if it doesn't we'll always wish it had yeah i guess so <laughs> there's some places that it doesn't really meet no like this is really squished in here by this by the trunk mount i think for the old mount but uh we'll have to get some creativity going and just kind of mold that in and some spots but everywhere else besides those two spots uh, you can see over this one too if i capture it and this is what we use the 30 minute panel bonder and i think i'm done i don't know if uh wow here we go i don't know if i used it all oh yeah Pretty it's much all, right. almost done I see, yeah. and these are one time only you get two when you bought it so i've got one more where did you get it in moultrie i think you did yeah we bought this oh well, we need to order them online and get some more yeah unless you're done panel bonding i don't know i may be done panel but we clamped the hezel out of ez it clamp that you know what out of it yeah and one advice and then we put uh he, i don't know whose whose suggestion were the paint sticks why because they're fantastic oh that was my idea <laughs> oh that was yours <laughs> yeah because you don't want to put yeah. little dimples in i was i was yeah, looking around the good shop. ideas today <laughs> whoa this is a red, <laughs> this was, this red letter your, date <laughs> this was your idea though so the gloves no doug was already going for gloves okay i i said it before but when he was headed that direction i, I thought gloves yeah <clears throat> all right so how many clamps do we do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 17 clamps to get it on there. I think it's probably going to stay put. Yeah. We dry fitted it, just the bare metal out to the edge, and it's fine. And then this is right to the edge. There may be, like you can see here, the metal comes out just a little bit further. And we'll grind that back to... The edge, and if, if more, if more of the yeah, fiberglass compressor break needs to uh, come off, they're all one piece, and we'll but make that this fit perfect. Butted to this, made the opening in yeah. the trunk deck spot on. So you're thinking you're just going to file the metal back to the fiberglass, right. and then that'll be the edge. Yeah, because we made this fit perfect, but actually. The way the real Daytona's is, that's just, you could have had this clear back into here, laid over the top, and you had a an edge instead of trying to make it. I don't like that meet. look. That looks, this the real Daytona is going to look like a clone, and yours yeah. is going to look like, oh man, that's the red trunk deck, don't you think? Yep. 
I think so. We'll see. Of course, now I gotta strip all the paint off, clean it all up. Yeah. And uh, there are probably a few more little places to do all these. There these were a couple here. of rough spots. I don't know if you'd noted that. But uh, yeah, we put a piece to fill in here and put a piece and to fill it in there. So those got fixed. The today. real Daytona's also shows like here, here, here. It's like there's six six little one inch lines. So you're saying I went crazy with the cheese whiz? Yeah. Okay. No, this <laughs> is never gonna come off. But we'll, I'll probably I'll grind on this a little bit, clean this up a little bit so it looks nicer. Yep. And of course, all that's like got to be cleaned up. The panel bond. You should have bought a new trunk deck to do all this too, because now we got lots of work in here. All these dents. I know. Well, not much I can do about it now. But trunk decks are seven hundred fifty bucks. Well, that's so. That's why we use this one. <laughs> all right. That's it for this edition. Bye bye. All right, to finish the video, Pops is all antsy in his pants. Easy oh, camp. Yeah. And you are. Uh oh. We got panel bonded. Look at that. What has it been, 24 hours? Yeah, it's been 24 like hours. Like exactly? Yeah, Doug left it too yesterday. It says that it bonds in 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes so. The reason for the unboxing early. Yeah, we were going to leave it for another day, but we're curious to see how the trunk fits in there now. Okay, I'll put that down there. They got to pick all those up. Yeah, I was going to say, you're, you're putting them where we need to move them anyway. go there we put I'm just gonna pick all these up we put wood on the back side every one of these clamps so it distributes the uh, pressure which we didn't crank, we didn't crank them down like oh I did crank them down like uh -oh, that one that one panel bonded to it <laughs> I think this one is too yeah oh there it came out Oh, I think I'm tightening. There. Yeah, I was, I was tightening. Righty, tighty, lefty. Mm -hmm. All right. Some elf will come along and put all those where they go. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell Dougie that it's his, his turn to put them up. He <laughs> got them all out. Okay, that is some hard stuff. Oh, look, these are the ones you did. Yeah, they, they actually are. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to help you. I'm going to set it on there. Okay. Let's see how she be. I'm about to break my once broken wrist there. Oh, man, that fits right down in there. Uh, we might have to shave a little bit off of this corner depending on how this quarter extension fits right because this is pretty tight gap there but and you have to go up a little bit it might be perfect pop yeah i think that's where it yeah, goes but I'm, I'm hitting down here now anyway, okay I'm we'll bring it this way not that far it needs to go right there's fine yeah it it might be just perfect okay well, I pushed it down a little bit, yeah. and then it shoved it your way a smidge. But yeah, this is this is low. All this is low, which is great. Yeah, and I'm, I'm I can feel that comes up just a little bit. Well, but it's down. It's down there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to shave this. See that line you got right yeah, there? I yeah. bet you we have to shave that quarter. They, whoever mm -hmm. welded it in, I think they got it in just. A, I don't know. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it this way a smidge. I think it's binding in this corner up there. Like that, like that bracket goes down in. It wants to live like right there. But you could also do this. And that's not bad. That just needs to be you shaved. You could shave a smit. Yeah, it looks like it kicks out yeah. right there. Probably does. That's, that that's all metal. Fine. There's no Duraglass in there or anything, no, is there? No. Yeah, because your line looks good there. It's and just, this looks real good here, too. I don't know how this quarter. 
that line comes straight down and then it kicks and then in. it kicks in a little yeah i don't know why unless that... they body worked that to bang it in i don't, know. I don't think That's so weird okay cool well i love that we can just leave it on there still got some work to do here yeah huh gonna have to original trunk decks are yeah that's it's been hit they've all every charger got backed into a sump hole at one point i know <laughs> true 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 i love it look at that gap so nice you see the you see the, how the line looks really good yeah For, pretty good uh, i think yours still needs to kick up a smidge just there yeah well you know what that's all going to be adjustable with the with the trunk hinges yeah that that we put some adjustment into so but yes you oh, that'll grind off i think it'll be fine yeah you need you need a eighth inch end of there yeah something and you can take we can probably take cut that and then Move tap it, it back and then i know that's how they do and it then tack that back yes be grind beat it off. that over or we might cut the bottom, cut the top, move that over, re-weld, and then shave that down, grind mm -hmm. it off. Cool. Maybe. Cool, cool. That's how my brain is working it out. Okay. Because this guy looks good, that gap all the way up. Does it's it? a little bit tight up in here, but maybe that's because all of the Duraglass you've got in there yeah. needs to be cleaned up. Because so. I haven't cleaned that up yet. Oh yeah, that looks... I like that. Yeah. Gap. All right. Big picture charger. Yeah. Fastback charger. Gonna become a Daytona. I like it. Well, that's that's why we did all this work with shortening this crazy trunk deck to fit. Oh, I know what we were gonna do. Oh, we're gonna we put it on your car. Oh, where were you? Yeah, we were gonna see if that hit at all. Right. Let's be scuffing my stuff. No, I'm not. Look at how much longer your truck. <laughs> Yours is. That's probably where it wants to live. Right there. Boy, look at those gaps. They're perfect. They yeah, because I. Ridge. Right there. Yeah, that's like perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, then that just shows you. See, that one's. That shows you I did a good job. And yeah, it shows whoever you. Whoever did that one didn't. This side. Needs to be cut on mine because look out that reveal but is. Mine perfect. has a little kick out there. You see that? Yeah. I didn't never notice that, but it does. That have... corner is out just a. Smidge. Well, the trunk comes down and kicks in. Well, I guess it does have a little bit. I mean, of... this needs to go up a little more, but. Oh, well, here. Let me move this up too. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, your trunk lost deck's this great. Much, much trunk deck. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. Now let's get a plug for this car. <laughs> let's put it back. You got a plug, it's over there on that bench. Yeah, true. Oh, you mean a plug for the back window. Yeah, put your window plug in. I don't know, put that back on the car. Let's see how fast back charger looks again. I am putting mine back factory original i know but well that's all one color if, if in one five years if in five years I, I might go with a fastback charger <laughs> which i guess is a charger 500 they had the rear plug that's all they had they didn't have the nose yeah but you have to put that flush grill on front i think i'd leave my 69 regular grill but that is pretty dang tough. I guess I l am in love with a Charger 500. And the, the wing in the back is fine. I just, I'm not sure. I got enough nose to go around already without. <laughs> All right, is that it for That's it. trunk deck shortening video sequence combination? Yep, I think that it's a success. Yeah, Lot, lots of detail cleanup work to do. And I mean, you got Panel bond to clean up, welds to clean up, but yeah. the bones of it is looking dandy. I'll show you. You can show kind of how that turned out with the. Uh, we wiped it all down in here. 
I think we talked about it yesterday, how the real ones were just put over and then welded. But we tried to wipe it down in there. If you got that picture, you can send it to me. Uh, and then I'll pull it out of the email and throw it into the video. Just a flash of an original how it's welded too. Oh yeah, yeah. So insert that picture here. real good we welded all that welded all that ground it all off well what we we figured out is the tail panel was mounted a little bit too far back yes on this car originally so it was banging and chipping away at this so we piecemealed a little piece of metal in rusted. there and it was also hitting here that, but that they, rusted they cut a hole out here i think to be able to get a wrench in there because they couldn't get the couldn't get it out could be or it also was maybe wearing with the latch it was could have been there it could have been it one way or another it wasn't fitting right so he tweaked and pulled this in just a little bit we measured on my car it's almost five this. feet and with this it was five feet back from we the just, top of the rear channel we just took this and and pulled that forward now yeah it, it cracked where I, I put Duraglass and a top coat of Bondo, which I'm not done yet. But yeah, I cracked that. I'll, I'll sand most of that out and uh, all yeah. that will be redone to make it nice and shiny or nice and flat. Yep. But that put where the trunk comes down, that put this forward a little. Forward. It was just a half inch or so, so wasn't the, it? The notch in the trunk will come down like it's supposed to instead of hitting. Yep. And I think we already got another video of this is all done. Yep. I don't believe all that's posted. It's posted? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, I've still got, you if know. If you'd more. ever watch Clark's place. Final, final Bondo to go over there to build that up, to make that all just flow like it's all one piece. And of course, where they welded the new quarters on, there's lots to do still. Yeah, you gotta clean up those welds, maybe add some more, and then there a glass over all that too, I would. Yep, new floor, I think new cow, maybe not a new cow, right? But that looks good, all welded around. Maybe a little grinding and call yep. that done. That'll be done. We'll okay. see. Okay, right. anything else? Nope. Bye bye. Bye bye.